Russ, we were told tonight that there was um, a moment in the season where you pretty much flat out told your teammates, I'm not missing the playoffs. Um, what do you remember about that moment? And when you, when you say something like that, like, do you see an immediate effect or are you just saying it to be like, I'm going to let you guys know what I'm about? Uh, I don't say, I don't talk just for my health, but honestly, I uh, just wanted to let the team know that, uh, you know, this season at the time, you know, we were struggling and everybody was doubting us on the outside and, uh, we had to figure out a way to, to knuckle up and, um, you know, make the playoffs. Simple as that. I didn't care what happened in the previous games. And moving forward, we had to figure ourselves out, look ourselves in the mirror. I started with myself, and um, I made it clear to the guys that uh, we will make it. What was your preparation like for this game? Obviously, you had a lot of games to to kind of pull from, but what was your main focus coming into tonight? Uh, just attack. Um, you know, I wasn't – myself last game but uh, you know my job is to make sure I'm in attack mode find a way to keep my teammates involved bring our energy um, and tonight I did a better job of that Chase Hey Russ you guys have earned a first round series with the Sixers uh, and Joel Embiid and, and everything they represent what is it what stands out to you about that matchup and your reaction to facing them I mean, they're number one team in the East for a reason. They uh been playing well all season long. Uh, and they're a good team overall. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of guys, a lot of different talent on the team. Uh, we got to make sure you prepare the right way uh, and going with the series and, and taking one game at a time. And D Daniel Gafford obviously had a, a huge game, five blocks in the first half alone. Um, how impressive was he tonight? Oh, he was great, man. His energy, um, his athleticism is key for us when he's playing at that level and protecting the basket. Um, it was huge for us tonight, and he did an amazing job. Fred? Hey, Russell. Um, I know you've, you've gotten to have a really good relationship with Rui, and, and he obviously struggled in the Celtics game and, and seemed to come out with a different sort of intensity tonight. I, I'm just wondering how you saw him react to that Boston game and and how he turned it around tonight. Um, you know, I thought he was, he was fine. He just unfortunately got a foul trip, which happens to the best of us. But tonight he did a good job of uh, just sticking with it, being aggressive. Uh, when he's aggressive, our team is better. I've always told him that. Um, and he's one hell of a pair, and he's going to be a great in this league for a long time. Uh, my job is to find ways just to keep uh, trying to bring the best out of him. Yeah. Russ, nobody, I'm sure nobody had to tell you how you played the other night. So what are, what are those 48 hours like? Uh, <laughs> you'd ask my wife, my mom, my dad, my brother, people, they probably, they're so annoyed with me right now. I literally, honestly, I was just so pissed just to my performance and um, just wasn't feeling the best, um, you know, when, when my team needed me the most, but um, you know, everything happens for a reason. Um, you know, I knuckled down and took care of my body and made sure that my mind was right uh, coming in tonight and made sure that uh, my energy and effort was there and my team could follow me. And and how how does having 12 years of experience in the league allow you to bounce back from a game and not try to do too much in a big game like this? Yeah, uh, you know what? It's, it's, uh, it's very important. I'm, uh, when I was in Oklahoma City, uh, Mo Cheeks, he always told me, great players don't have two back-to-back -back bad games. And I always kept that in my mind and always keep that in my mind when there is a time when I do play bad, uh, make sure that I'm, I'm locked and loaded for the next game um, and make sure that I can go out and compete and, and make sure my team is, uh, can follow, you know, my lead. Neil. Hey, Russ. Uh, you guys had 5K fans in the stands today. You were hyping them up. You know, they were very animated throughout the game. How much did that, you know, help you guys maintain that big lead you guys were able to get? I mean, it's important uh, having fans in the building, having, uh, you know, the D.C. fans here and, and keep them excited and engaged in the game. It's part of my job. It's something that uh, this game uh, brings out the best of, of all of us, especially with the fans in the, in the crowd. And I'm happy they're in the building. And uh, our job is to make sure that we can have more and more games to come to this season. All right, Russ. Appreciate you. Thank you.